All right, so Diofield Chronicle is a game that's not getting a lot of attention, but I recently just finished it. Um, it took me a while. I've been busy with work, and uh, and the game is actually a lot longer than I expected. Uh, as you can see, it took me like 33 hours to finish the game. Uh, that's including doing every side quest uh, possible and uh, taking my time, you know, not skipping anything, uh, watching all the cutscene and reading all the text. Um, so I'm not really sure how I've read in some trend where some people beat it in like 10, 15 hours. I think that's like pretty much impossible unless you just rushing for some reason, skipping all the cutscene and all dialogue. But I, I don't understand why you wouldn't even play it in the first place if you're going to skip uh, almost everything. So it took me 33 hours to beat the game and I got 38 out of 39 achievement just by playing the game. I wasn't even trying to get uh, 100%, although the last one that I'm missing is to get a level 50 on one character. So I will do that real quick in New Game Plus, and then uh, I will stop there. Um, because really, there's really no point, um, personally for me, there's really no point in continue playing because the gameplay doesn't really change all that much. And that's one of the flaw. And, uh, and there's more, but at the end of the day, I really enjoyed this game. Uh, this game is great with all its flaw. Um, it's definitely one that kind of surprised me and uh, I'll go over everything that I like and dislike about the game. All right, so this game has a demo and it is the first two hours of the game. And here's one of the flaw of the game and that is the gameplay. It is way too easy, even on hard difficulty. I never once struggled in this game. Um, I died a couple times because I was still learning the mechanic, but it wasn't because the game was hard. Uh, it's just because I was um, playing around and I didn't really fully understood the mechanic yet. But it, it's an easy game to learn. It's very easy to pick up. It's nothing complicated like uh, you would expect from like a, a Divinity Sin or something. That's way too complicated. This is very simple. Um, you can just pick it up within the first 10-15 minutes of the gameplay and it really doesn't change a whole lot after that. The first two hours of the gameplay is what you see uh, is basically the entire gameplay of the game. Uh, you'll get more skill eventually as you level up and upgrade and things like that but as a whole the gameplay doesn't change that much from the demo. The skills that you get in this game um, from all the classes are pretty flashy. They're pretty awesome to witness, but very few in numbers. Each class only has like maybe um, half a dozen skills, really. Um, very few, uh, but they're all really nice and flashy from what you expect from Square Enix. Uh, but like I said, after 30 plus hours um, of the game, uh, it does get old fairly quickly. You're going to be spamming the same skills over and over and over. So, um, also the, the 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 sound is is good. The voice acting is excellent. I love all the voice acting, and I also really like all the characters. They're all mature, and uh, the story is fairly mature as well. Uh, it's got a great story, actually. Personally, I really like this story. There's there's a lot of twists and turns. Um, midway through uh, you have also main characters that also uh, leave um, your your party um, during the game and uh, the game really uh, toward the end sets up for a sequel and it ends on a huge cliffhanger um, and as I said this this game I wasn't expecting it very long um, just when I was expecting it to end, it just kept on going and going. Eventually, uh, when I wasn't expecting it to end, it just kind of ended on a huge cliffhanger. And it's a very um, uh, enticing cliffhanger. Um, so they left it open. So for a second part, if the game sells well, hopefully we get a second part. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping it does because... Um, there's not a lot of buzz around this game, but hopefully since it's kind of a, a budgeted game, uh, it, it doesn't take much for the second one to be greenlit. All right, so in terms of side quests, there's always a few side quests uh, for every chapter. I won't spoil how many chapters there are in total. Uh, like I said, it, the game kind of ends on a cliffhanger, so telling, disclosing how many chapters I, I think kind of spoils uh, it a little bit. 
but the side quests consists um, a lot of times just you trying to uh, help solve an issue uh, with uh, your party member. Um, there's a backstory in all your party member and doing side quests uh, kind of earn you. Uh, there's no such thing as like um, like uh, pal points or anything like that, but you do is just to gain experience overall and then you use those experience to uh, level level up your skills, uh, get more skills, uh, earn rewards for beating the uh, mission un in under a time limit or um, just a completing objective during missions gets you material to upgrade your skills, um, craft new weapons and things like that. Overall, um, the system, the crafting system in upgrading system is very, very simple, um, very straightforward. Uh, throughout the game, you are, you will earn about, I believe, six or seven summons. And here's another downside to the summons. Uh, unfortunately, for whatever reason, the game gives you the best summon, I believe, in the game right off the bat. And that is Bahamut. And he is very powerful. and Well, not super powerful, but he is very versatile. And he just feels like um, the summon that you should be getting like toward the end of the game, not the beginning of the game, because I found myself not really having to use any of the other summon because there it, it wasn't necessary because Bahamut pretty much just uh, does everything. Uh, it's got AoE, uh, decent damage, and so I never had to use the other summons because it's Bahamu. Uh, who else are you going to use after you have Bahamu, right? But anyway, uh, that's a little disappointing. Uh, you can also upgrade your uh, summons uh, by materials that you earn during missions. So there's an upgrade there as well. But uh, it's very simple. It's, it's not a lot, but uh, there's something there for you to do. Okay, so because this game is being published and in part developed by Square Enix, it feels, if you're watching gameplay and if you're playing it, it feels um, a little low budget for um, a triple A uh, company like Square Enix. But however, and I think that's the reason why um, I enjoy it more. I'll, I'll say it now, I enjoy a lot more playing it on the Steam Deck than on my high-end gaming PC, uh, even on the uh, ultra-wide uh, monitor. Um, not because it doesn't fully support ultra-wide, and it's just it just feels more natural, and it just feels um, on the Steam Deck it feels more high quality uh, from a portable game, as opposed to if you're playing on a PC or high-end PC. It just feels a very limited budget game, as if you're playing on a portable device. Uh, in terms, it feels like a high quality, high budget game. So that's how I felt when I was uh, switching back and forth between PC and the Steam Deck. Uh, and uh, ultimately, halfway through, I decided just to finish the game on my Steam Deck. And I prefer to play it on the deck as well. It just feels right. Okay, so I do recommend uh, trying out the demo, and it, if it does catch your attention at all, and the thing that's holding you back is the price, I do really recommend grabbing it when it's on sale. Um, at least if it's fifty percent, that's your. I think that's a really good deal uh, for this game if you enjoyed the demo, but not willing to pay full price for it. Um, I think it's it's got uh, great soundtrack, uh, although few in numbers. Again. A very limited budget game. Uh, all the soundtracks are great. It fits the setting. Uh, voice acting is great. Uh, gameplay is really easy to learn and pretty uh, laid, easy and laid back game to play, uh, especially it's on the Steam Deck. And all the characters are, are great. Um, one of the main characters is, is pretty awesome. I like her a lot. Um, uh, yeah, I think... Um, this game is a little bit under the radar because it's a low budget title and it's also the genre is not that popular as well. So, but I do highly recommend giving it a shot and try the demo. And if you like it, grab it on sale.
All right, that's it for me, and I uh, appreciate watching this far. And uh, give me a like and thumbs up if you uh, found it helpful, and I will see you in the next uh, review. And, uh, I should be picking up a uh, 4090 pretty soon, having trouble tracking one down. But once I do, I'll pump out more video um, uh, as i uh, looking forward to a lot of newer games later this year. All right, guys, peace out. Take care. You aren't courting, are you, Andreas? That's none of your business. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a no. I might consider stepping out with you, if you shared all of your secrets with me. I have no secrets, and no desire to step out with you. <laughs> You're so full of lies. It's part of your charm, though, I suppose. Stop your prattling. If it's marriage you seek, surely your family can find some rich boy for you. Don't be silly. What could be duller than marrying into some prim and proper household? You'd rather have me, would you? You're finally getting it. We fit so well together. A secretive man and a woman who can't keep things to herself. You think that's a good match? Ah. So you acknowledge that you do have secrets after all. I was only borrowing your phrase. I was... No. Enough of this. Really? When I was having fun, 